Yo, hey guys, what is up? It's JJ Tech here back again for another brand new video. And in today's video, after popular demand, I'm going to be doing a video on how I clean my gaming PC. Now, notice how I said I'm going to be showing you how I clean my PC because just a quick disclaimer. I'm not saying this is the proper way to clean your PC. As you guys will find out later on, you guys will let me know the you know the PC experts. But uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys basically how I clean my PC and how I have done it. Now, at the end of the day, it is pretty self-explanatory on how to clean your PC. Now, before we get this video started, here are the tools you are going to need. Honestly, this is about it, a cleaning duster or an air can. You can pick this up at your local Best Buy or even Office Max, even Walmart, pretty much any place that sells tech, you're gonna find this thing. Now this is required in order to clean this PC, just, just letting you guys know. Now if you wanna get more technical, you guys can get screwdrivers, you know, if you wanna take out your motherboard and stuff like that and really get in depth on cleaning this thing. But in this case, we're just gonna be doing a basic clean with the air can. Now don't get fooled by the word basic because we are still going to be doing a pretty in-depth clean on this gaming PC. And before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe down below. And also I will drop my unboxing video of when I did get this PC in case all you new subscribers wanna check that out. So with no further ado, let's get into the video. Now I know this angle is kind of weird because you guys can like barely see me and stuff like that. But I actually wanna show you guys how much dust buildup is on this PC. Now the reason I haven't uploaded this video earlier when everybody did request this video is because I had actually just barely cleaned it. Now, it is recommended you do clean your gaming PC or PC in general every three to six months depending on your usage. In my case, I clean it every six months because I don't really use it that often. But lately with online school, I have been starting to clean it every three months because I pretty much use this thing five days a week. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys a close up footage on how much dust buildup on is on this PC before we get into cracking this thing open. Now I'm gonna start with the front all the way to the back. Now I mean by the front is most PCs have fans in the front. Well, most gaming PCs I should say, all of them I guess. And they do have a removable front cover like this. Now you might be thinking, where the heck do you remove this front cover? And good question, because at first guys, when I did first clean this out the first time ever, I did not know how to take this front panel off and it's actually pretty easy let me show you now in order to take this front panel off it's pretty easy all you have to do is put your hand on the bottom there's gonna be like a tab to insert your fingers and all you're gonna do is it is gonna take a little bit of pressure so all you have to do is just hold up top make sure your PC does not move and then just sorry guys a little hard here and then it should pop out just like that now I did edit the part where I did where I was struggling a little bit. It is tight, especially if you haven't opened it in a while, but don't be afraid to pull on it. I know it seems like you're gonna break it, but trust me, you're not. And then after we do remove that panel, not sure if you guys can see the dust that's in. There's actually a bunch of dust flying around right now, but there's dust accumulated in these little inserts right here, and uh, we're gonna be cleaning all that in today's video. So after you take the panel off, you're revealed with your fans and uh, not sure if you can see, but these have a bunch of dust buildup over time. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see that. I mean, look at that, all that dust, guys. Check that out. All this, you can see it's coming off. All this is dust, guys. And uh, we're gonna be cleaning that in today's video. Now, you're gonna have to grab your air can, which is, like I said, the only tool you'll need, at least in the way I clean my PC. And, and now, the first step after removing your panel is, not sure if you guys can see, but it's actually a magnet filter and all you have to do is pull this thing right off and you can go wash this thing off. Yes, you can rinse it off, you can go to the sink and uh, it's easy as that. You don't have to grab your air can or dust this off. You can do that, but honestly, it's actually better to go rinse it out. Now, once you did that, it is pretty much clean. All you have to do is insert it back and then that's it for the front, like I said. Now, most PCs don't actually have this little magnet cover that you can just pull right off. A lot of times they don't even have this little filter and a bunch of dust accumulates on the fans itself and you do have to get that air can in there if that is your case. Now that's pretty much it for the front. Now let's actually open this thing up. Alrighty, so we got to the side and we took off our side panel. You just have these little two thumb screws that you screw off and you're pretty much inside your PC. 
Now this is the important part. This is where it's really gonna matter. And this is where that air can comes in. Now all you pretty much have to do is pretty self-explanatory. Just get into all the little areas with this little stick right here. And all you have to do is pretty much just spray and uh, let's get started with that. Alrighty, so I zoomed in as best as possible so you guys can get a better idea. And look at the dust that there is. Now, like I said, since I don't use my PC that much, like I said, there isn't as much dust as you would think. Now, like I said, if you want to get more in detail, you can get your screwdrivers and you can, of course, take your motherboard off and all your PC components if you really want to get in depth. But in this case, we're just going to start spraying. So yeah, grab your air can and uh, pretty much just start spraying down. Not sure you guys can see that dust flying off, but it's pretty, pretty easy. Get the top first. And then I get the bottom. You guys pretty much just start dusting away. Now, I would recommend that you do lay this down on a surface. But for the purpose of today's video, I am showing you guys with the PC standing up. Like I said, I usually do this with the PC actually laying flat. And it is what I recommend. So like I said, we're just going to keep spraying. And when it comes to these little components, you do have to be careful. Don't get too close to it. Get a couple inches away from your actual motherboard and all your components. Like I said, you don't wanna to get too close because it could possibly damage it. So yeah, you're just gonna keep spraying down. And yeah, guys, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You just spray down pretty much all your components. And while you are spraying down, you actually won't actually be able to get all your dust out. In some spots, it actually might be a little tougher to get the dust out. Even with this little thing right here, you still might not be able to get all the dust out. So that's why if you want to get more in depth, I recommend you take off some of your components if you really want to get that deep clean. Now eventually I would recommend that you do that because eventually over time more and more dust buildup is going to build up in small areas like these around your uh, graphics card, around your RAM sticks, stuff like that. So yeah, that. I would recommend that after a couple of cleanings I would actually take off some of the components to get that better deep clean. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing anything else right here because it's pretty self explanatory. You're just going to spray down like I was doing and like I said when it comes to your smaller areas. Don't worry about all the dust getting out. It's really not that big of an issue right now if there isn't that much dust. But like I said, over time, I recommend that you do remove some of your components to get that better clean. Now moving it on to the back side, as you can see here, you can't forget about the back side. A lot of people always forget about the back fans and also the bottom fan. That's going to be the fan for your power supply. And most people seem to forget that. And I was that person the first time I ever cleaned this thing. I forgot to clean the power supply fan, so uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. But as you can see here, dust also ends up building up on the back side of your PC, especially if it's in a tighter area, which I don't recommend. But if it is in a tighter area, you really got to get back here and dust off. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start spraying down. Now in my case, it might not look like it's too dusty, but once you're up close, it is pretty dusty. But also, it actually isn't as dusty as you would think because like I said, I cleaned my PC last in November of 2020, so it hasn't even been six months. Now it will be six months in May, but since I did want to get this video, it doesn't really matter if I am one month or two weeks early. But as you can see here, even after six months, it's not really that dusty because like I said, I'm not that heavy of a user, but if you are, I would recommend that you clean it every three months. But yeah, you're just going to keep spraying and spraying down until you can get as much dust off this PC as possible.
and uh, as you can see here it looks good as new now let's head on to the bottom and as you can see here we've made it to the bottom side of the pc and uh this is why you cannot forget to clean your power supply fan because as you can see here there's a bunch of dust buildup because usually since it is the bottom it only has about this much space to breathe and you cannot forget to clean this and as you can see here in this case we don't really have to use the can too much because it is one of those filters that you can just pop off and go rinse off i still recommend that you do get that air can and start dusting it off still because even though the filter has most of the dust there is still some dust that gets inside the fan itself so you can see here all this uh, discoloration that is actually all dust Like I said, you don't want to get too close with the actual air onto the fan here. And as you can see here, it is brand new. It is good as new. No more dust to be found. Like I said, in my case, it's not as dusty because I just cleaned it. Now let's actually flip it to the top because there's actually another one of those filters on there. Now we made it to the top as you can see here and... Voila, all you have to do is pop this thing off just like the front fan and the bottom power supply fan. All you have to do is go and rinse this off. And just to show you guys here, it is a magnet. All you have to do is fix it in place here and it is good as new. But like I said, but I would still recommend getting your air can and even after rinsing your filter off, I recommend you do get your air can and clean it off still. And as you can see, it is now good as new. Now, if we actually flip it to the other side of the PC, as you can see here, this part is blocked off because this is where all your wiring for your components for your PC are. Now, you can clean this also. It's really not that needed. After, like I said, a while, I would recommend that you uh, open this panel off as well and dust it off, which I am about to do. And just like the other side, there are two thumb screws that you just screw off and this panel comes off. Alrighty, now that we got the panel off, as you can see, like I was saying, this is where all your wiring and your SSD and hard drive are usually. And as you can see here, it's not as dusty. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm saying. As you can see here, it's really not that dusty, if not dusty at all. I've actually haven't cleaned this area off even since the day I first cleaned it. And that's because, like I said, it's not really needed. But after, after maybe two, three years of ownership, I would recommend that you give it a deep clean back here as well. And as you can see, it is now good as new as well. And now that we have cleaned pretty much every inch of this PC, now let's put it all back together and uh, check the results. And as you can see, finally putting the PC back together, this thing looks brand spanking new. As you can see here, all cleaned up, the glass all cleaned up. It does have some fingerprints from when I put this panel back on. And actually speaking of the panel, to put it back on, all you have to do is snap it in place. It does have some clips. And as soon as you hear the little clicking sound, that it is that means it is secure and it is good to go. Now, that's pretty much it for today's video. Like I said, I've never done a video on this topic. I've never done a video like this, cleaning anything. And uh, let me know if you guys would like to see a video on cleaning in my Xbox One S. And I know this wasn't the most in-depth video. Like I said, this is my method of cleaning it. It's pretty basic. I'm pretty sure most people know this method anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And stay tuned for next video because next video is also a banger and I guess I unlocked the feature and uh, I actually did already my first YouTube short I will drop that down below so you guys can check that out and also give me some video ideas on what do you guys want me to post on the YouTube shorts but yeah stay tuned for those videos and also stay tuned for the next video which is coming short after this one and uh, yeah guys thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys in my next video peace out